Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of weeks, Microsoft has been rolling out some changes to the widgets board and the news feed on Windows 11, where there are now new multiple dashboards which are available in the widgets board according to Microsoft. And these have been rolling out after recent updates using server-side updates and rolling out gradually. And I did notice today that the changes to the widgets board had arrived in my part of the world. Now, if we head to our widgets and the news feed, yeah, to the left-hand side, you can see a new navigation bar, which makes it easy, according to Microsoft, to switch between your widgets and your discover feed and other views so there we go there's the discover and that's just widgets which according to microsoft gives you more space for your widgets because you can pin a lot more widgets than you previously could and according to microsoft helps you stay informed with a news feed so that's the new layout and then here are your settings. Settings used to be up here at the top. Now it's moved down here to the bottom left in the sidebar. And the good news is, is if you don't want the news feed, which I know a lot of viewers of this channel don't, you can just toggle it off and you can see that's gone. And then all you have is widgets. So you can pin just your widgets or leave it blank. The choice is yours. Or you can turn this off in settings as well and and remove it from the taskbar. But that's how you can turn off your news feed and your discover feed. And if you want it back, you can just pop that on. And there we go. There's discover and there's widgets. So you get the general idea. And open on hover is turned on by default. I've turned that off because every time my mouse would go in that region, it would um, it would activate the widgets board and the news feed, which I don't like. So if you don't want on hover, you can toggle it off over there. And yeah, you've got your notifications. So you can toggle off notifications um, for badges on the taskbar or dashboard notifications. You can toggle those off if you don't want the notifications. And something else I've noticed as well is that Microsoft has removed the full screen option. So you cannot, as far as I'm aware, make the widgets board now and the news feed full screen. So that option has been removed. So just bringing that to your attention if you are looking for that. But the good news is you can turn off this news feed and just have your widgets. And something else I have noticed is when we click on add widgets, there are a couple of extra widgets that have become available. You've got today's moment. That's new. Events near you. Daily wonder. Daily Discover. So go fiddle around, try that out for yourself. But there are three or four new widgets that are available that have been made available now to the Add Widgets section. So I personally just like the, the weather. I have no need for any other widgets at this stage on my Windows device. But there we go. That's the new multiple dashboards, which are now available and becoming more widely available um, in the widgets board. And you can also turn off that news feed as displayed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.